If you don't care where you're going, any road will get you there. And uh, in essence, the whole GOES program is based on that as an antithesis. And A I decade ago, Mayor Eric Johnson launched his innovative Goals for Dallas program, and in the time since, he has been its principal guiding force. Now he is sending the goals into their second decade, a new ball game with a new coach. We don't really need New York and the debacle there to tell us that the times are critical, that uh, we should look to our institutions to see how sound they are to withstand whatever may come. If I have any pride in this program, it is that it is an orderly thing that leads to systems to get things done in some kind of uh, order that uh, could otherwise become some degree of chaos. If you know what all the problems are, you can give the right weight and the right timing and the right priority to each. If you attack one, perhaps you expend too much of your resources to succeed in, in achieving balance in what you do. When you see ahead of you those things that are ideals, and the realities promptly tell you how much you can have, how soon, you begin to understand the very hard road to accomplishment of high order excellence. So I, I leave it in good hands and with a particular delight because aside from his talent, there just ain't no better guy than Les Potter that I know. And I'm delighted, Les, to say a few kind words while you're still around. I, I'll be glad to carve a, a little legend on a tombstone for you someday if I'm around. If not, do something for me, will you? Come on up here. <coughs> Thank you, Eric, uh, ever so much. Eric Johnson was the archetype of the traditional leader, just, benevolent, secure, and strong. Then it was the establishment that needed to focus on where the city was going. The goals provided a way for all the people to pass along their opinions to their leaders. Now it is the people who are deciding among themselves where the city is going, and their leaders are emerging to implement, not to make those decisions. Again, the goals are restructured to provide the channel for opinions, this time not up the line, but rather around the table. The first goals program projected more than it could do, accomplished a surprising lot, and came in for some sturdy criticism. Perhaps that was the most helpful of all. Those who criticize must, at some time or another, think about alternatives. And that was what the goals were really about. Yeah, I've often said, connection with the goals program and some of the enterprises we began in City Hall. Uh, if, if one wants to make real gains, he has to be willing to take pretty substantial risks at times, and we have done that in the past. I think we are uh, basically a city uh, of, of Texans who are willing to take risks, and we should be willing to see change and sometimes very drastic change. If it is good, we accept it. If it is bad, let's get it out of the way and try something else that has more chance to succeed if we can find it. 